Welcome to the landscaping series on the Clover Creek map in FS19. Today we will be doing some lawn care. We will be brush hog mowing one of the local store properties. We'll be heading over to the shop in our 2018 GMC 2500. Today we will be using the new cage tractor along with the new brush hog mower. We will also be using the 2011 F350 regular cab and the 20 foot PJ gooseneck trailer. I'm excited to be back here doing some lawn care with the landscaping series. We've been very busy here, so many projects and lawns that we've had to do and it's pretty nice to be busy. The grass is roughly a foot and a half to two feet in some areas and we'll be using the new brush hog three point attachment with a case of tractor, a regular lawnmower I don't think really would do the job and that's quite a lot of wear and tear so it's good to have these attachments especially the three point with the PTO uh, should be good for that. We'll come over here and get the power stroke turned on. I don't think we really have any uh, troubles with our diesel since they're indoors overnight. And sometimes it is cold even uh, in the summer. But we'll be using the case, guys, since the very nice 235. We previously used it with the mower deck and the bagger. But today, uh, we will be using the new uh, brush hog mower. We don't usually use a gooseneck trailer, but when we do use it, many of you guys really do like it. I do prefer the goosenecks, but uh, sometimes, especially for the landscaping series, I think the bumper poles are a bit easier, and you could pull them behind dump trucks as well. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been a bit busy, but I hope everyone's is uh, doing well. Now, I actually do have some pretty cool landscaping videos coming up. I cannot wait uh, to release to you guys within the coming days and some pretty big projects, and that will be awesome. Cannot wait for the channel and for everyone to really see what I'm doing in real life with these landscaping projects. So we got it all loaded up. Looks like we are good to go, and I will be adding straps to uh, the case. That way we could strap it down and add to the realism there. This is one awesome setup, you guys. Since the regular cat pickup truck, we got a, a pretty nice machine on it, and this 20 foot trailer is pretty nice. Now, this is 20 foot with the extra uh, 3 4 feet there for the ramp, so that's kind of why I call it a 20 foot, but it's uh, 24 foot when you include the ramps. Now we do have a contract here with a local store. We mow their property one to two times a month. It really depends on how much rain we get and we've been getting a lot of rain. So that's why we'll be going here twice this month. Now the store actually does have a fence right on the asphalt, so the grass is on the other side of it and it's not really a must uh, to mow it every week. If you do have any core ideas here for the lawn care series, please let me know. For FS19, we combined the lawn care with the landscaping, and I think that was a really good decision. We get to do both every single week, different types of projects, some pretty big landscaping ones uh, that are will be multi-part videos and things like that will be coming up. I would pass this truck, but I don't really want to tell any trailer, and uh, we are coming up uh, pretty soon here on our destination. I 
I really do enjoy doing lawn care here in FS19. I've been doing it all the way back since FS15, uh, so I really do enjoy it. Now, some of the grass is uh, not too bad, but you guys can see right along the fence here, it really needs to be mowed. So I think this is a good area to kind of uh, get unloaded. And let's get brush hog mowing. I was going to take the Kubota, but I thought why not use the new case, and this is very nice. It actually lifts up pretty high, which is a big bonus about uh, this case, three points. Here you guys can see it's some pretty tall grass here. Now I did actually modify this to prevent it from uh, just dropping all of the grass. I really don't like the look of that, so I thought it would be better to have it without it. This area isn't too bad. This is just under a foot uh, tall. Along the fence lines, you guys saw there, definitely needs to be brush hogged. Like I have touched one, we could probably manage to do this with one of our commercial mowers, but it puts a lot, a lot of wear and tear on the mower, and I really don't want to uh, do that, especially when uh, we use the mowers uh, for uh, making us money, and we don't want them to be down in the garage, broken, and possibly costing quite a lot of damage. I really do like this tractor a lot, and I cannot wait to release both compact tractors that I am working on as well. We'll have to come in here with a weed eater to get a bit closer. Really, I do not want to go in between the uh, flagpoles there. It's just too, uh, too uh, narrow. And we're a pretty long setup we are running. And we'll probably have to go a little bit slower over here because it's so tall. Turning around is going to be a bit tricky. Let's see what we can do. And we only have to do a few uh, passes on this side. The property line is actually one more pass back and forth, so it's not that big of an area we had to brush hog mow. Now we are here on the Clover Creek map, and so far I've really been enjoying it. I do want to do some videos building more houses. I think the more houses we have, uh, the more projects we can do, and I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do as well. Alright, this side of the property is good. Let's head over to the other side. And I think while we are at it, we'll clean up that little area. And over here really isn't much either as well. So, I mean, uh, it's pretty good, a uh, decent size brush hog mowing job though. Now I am featuring quite a lot of different games here on the channel for the summer months. And if you do have any uh, games you guys would like me to feature, let me know. It's only a pass or two over here, really not much. Uh, it was mainly along the fence that's the main priority. And 
that's all we could really do, you guys, since there's quite a lot of old equipment just kind of put here. So we don't want to get too close to it. There could potentially be a metal kind of sticking up, and that would uh, potentially damage this. But these brush hog mowers are built pretty well, and hopefully we don't run into any problems with damaging this, because we really do want to use it to help bring in uh, new jobs and uh, more income for the company. So far I've really been enjoying this case and we've really put it to work doing some lawn care, soon to be some landscaping jobs and really uh, liking it so far. And that is it there for all of the mowing. I mean that's quite a lot of mowing we did but we'll get loaded up and we'll head back. Having the regular cab means a shorter wheelbase and the gooseneck also is pretty well turning compared to a regular bumper pole. Now for brush hog mowing, I think that we should probably combine a few of these jobs into one video. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. We don't usually take this out much, probably one uh, time or two at most a week and probably even a uh, fewer than that so hope you guys enjoyed today's brush hog mowing let me know down below how you guys liked it stay tuned for next video and subscribe for more